AssetBook is a cloud-based platform which allows users to simply curate and manage their digitalized world. It's an end-to-end solution supporting all of the networking, data processing, and application requirements of your smart devices and systems. Delivered for an intuitive, secure, no-code platform where all your connected devices and services work in synergy. In this video, we'll be taking a brief tour of the platform and focusing on some key features including assets, dashboards and alarms, automations, digital twin, and we'll take a quick look at some of the use case specific modules on AssetBook too. So let's begin with assets. AssetBook is a management platform for connected assets and digitalization, locating and categorizing resources from clusters down to a granular level, the single service deployments all the way through to multi-state management. Geolocate assets even if they lack location functionality themselves, digitalize a real-world asset like a room or a parking space, or even incorporate virtual assets like weather forecasts or energy spot prices. Once in AssetBook, all these assets are able to interact with each other. Assets are visualized with dynamic identifiers indicating asset status, and clusters carry that visual indication through to the helicopter view. So users can easily monitor live activity and zone in on any condition, while quick view options give easy access to asset information. Blueprints, drawings, and renders can be assetized and geolocated also. Your asset list serves as the ledger of all your connected devices and smart assets within your digital landscape. AssetBook integrates with all major networking topologies, meaning there are millions of devices already profiled within the AssetBook repositories to choose from. Data from all these assets is processed and normalized, given a uniform approach with historic charts offering quick access to stored data and options for download in various formats. Taking a closer look at one of these assets, we can interrogate live data, interact with the asset history charts, and review alarm and system logs detailing all activity from the asset. Editing the asset itself offers various options such as the ability to include metadata and logic options for the asset, server-side calibration of sensors, and easy access to user-defined alarm settings for any parameter. We'll now look at consolidation of all these data points using dashboards. This module enables users to design complex dashboards with any parameter from any device. A simple no-code process for selecting the information to be displayed, specifying the display format, and incorporating it into the dashboard as an interactive widget. There's no limit to number of dashboards that can be created, meaning any stakeholder can have their own tailored environment. Incorporating various elements such as camera widgets, control widgets, and live data. Dashboards on AssetBook are more engaging and functional easier to navigate, and can be tailored for use case-specific requirements. Live data can be presented in various formats, making it easier to digest and interact with in real time. The analytics engine in AssetBook gives the ability to correlate any metric to more easily identify meaningful patterns. Data derived from the analytics engine can be displayed in many different chart and gauge options, and incorporate trend lines and benchmark data. Built-in alarm indicators highlight live warnings and alarms directly in the dashboard with the ability to immediately interrogate the asset parameter. The alarms dashboard is always accessible within the asset book navigation bar. This dashboard brings active warnings and alarms together for streamlined review. Here users can acknowledge and view pertinent information on an event. Access the asset directly from this dashboard for further investigation and review of the logs. With intuitive filter options to make navigation easy, the Alarms dashboard serves as your central hub for all notifications and alerts. Lastly, a use case specific dashboard compiles data from various sources to provide a real time overview of data combinations. In this case, live energy consumption. Basically, a custom analytic layout this style of dashboard can also be configured to reflect any other parameter combination, such as global occupancy levels, average temperatures, average light levels, and more. Additionally, virtual metrics can be included within the dashboard. Automations. The automations module within AssetBook is a no-code environment which allows users to simply and effectively specify scenarios and perform functions. Any trigger can be used, whether it's a physical or non-physical event, including information or logic triggers. In this case, we'll use a specific parameter from a device. Simply select the device and parameter to work with, and set a threshold for the condition. Now we define an action. This could be straightforward, such as recalling a scene, 
generate and report or simply messaging functions such as send him an SMS, push a notification, email, or a command to another business system, like generating a works order, for example. Azurebook also supports cross-platform automations, of course. Here we can see the connected devices on this tenancy, which can perform real-world actions such as turning the smart plug on. Continue to specify additional triggers and conditions by simply adding other parameters from any asset, regardless of its communication protocol or manufacturer, to easily create unique user-specific scenarios that deliver value. Digital Twin Digitalization of any environment can include 3D renders and walkthroughs on AssetBook, allowing users to virtually explore the digital environment and interact with the smart assets that exist within that space. Users are able to form virtual functions like measurements along with the ability to create and record any other physical parameter for the space. As with blueprints or floor plans, tag spaces become virtual assets in their own right and are available for processing with logic-based functions such as performance calculations, compliance status, or space optimization. 3D visualizations on AssetBook also includes building information modeling, incorporating information about the fabric of the building with the ability to visually overlay live or historic sensor data over a 3D render of the infrastructure being monitored. Review live water pipe temperatures or electrical circuit loads, for example, and use data to optimize and predict maintenance, performance, and compliance. Geofencing is another simple way to digitalize your environment. Simply create a virtual fence surrounding any space. Once created as a virtual asset, this will interact with other asset classes, allowing for user-specified dynamic changes. Assetize anything from a parking space to a city to manage and optimize with location-based services. Use geofencing in conjunction with blueprints, maps, or other technical files for more accurate environment digitalization. Lastly in this section, heat mapping overlays allow for easy digital representation of real-world events. Any asset parameter from any asset can be visualized with time-based representation to enable easily digestible insights from datasets. Use case-specific modules, tracking. The tracking module includes use case-specific features such as journey login, movement details, and vehicle information. Presented in an easy-to-navigate layout, this module includes history player and specific log information pertinent to the service. Not limited to fleet tracking, this module can be used for assets and personnel tracking in the same way, and of course all asset parameters and actions can be used in conjunction with any other asset book service. Use case specific module, EV charging. In addition to smart control and functions of EV charging equipment, the EV module includes an overview dashboard to monitor life status, along with pre-built reporting functions. Users can manage and maintain their EV infrastructure and also commercialize by accepting usage payments, all without ever leaving the safety of the platform. Use case specific module, lighting. The lighting module offers complete control of various different lighting assets, their functions and performance criteria. As with anything on AssetBook, equipment from different manufacturers and or with different communication technologies can coexist and operate synchronously. Once connected to AssetBook, smart functions such as performance monitoring, predictive maintenance, power monitoring, and optimization are simple and fast to deploy. Smart tools for quick commissioning and modification of lighting installations means that the timeframes and costs which are usually associated with delivery and maintenance of lighting controls are reduced dramatically. Use case specific module, emergency lighting. The emergency lighting module includes features such as system health, global and individual compliance metrics, and tree view visualization. As with all other asset classes, these devices integrate with other modules for predictive maintenance capabilities, and the module has easy access for testing schedules and reporting functions. Use case specific module, surveillance. The surveillance module allows for direct streaming of camera feeds into AssetBook with server-side recording functions and without the requirement for third-party servers or services. In addition to security deployments, this also allows for AI modeling or specific real-world sensing functionality through vision like automated counting, number plate recognition, or behavior analysis. Use case specific module, files. The filing system in AssetBook is not only an environment to store and curate files. Here we can tag and associate them with any asset or asset classes. File data can be easily imported to work alongside other smart functions while specifications, drawings, and records can be associated with their real world asset. Thanks for watching and please reach out if you'd like to find out more about how AssetBook can help you with your digitalization journey.